the humble LED push light, a very common thing and very cheap. Uh, these were out of Poundland and it was two for a pound. And the original of these most certainly was not two for a pound. It was manufactured by Osram and it was called the Dotted. And I believe it was made of aluminium and quite heavy. So let's open this up and take a look at what we get. It's got a sticky pad and it's designed to stick onto a surface and then bayonet cap off to change the batteries. Oh, that's got quite a strong pattern. I'm guessing this is all down to... I'm not really sure. That must just be part of the moulding process. They've maybe marked it in some way. That's odd. Anyway, it takes three AAA batteries. It's a shame it doesn't take AA batteries because it would last so much longer. And let's see if I can open this without breaking it. It was glued. Some of them are screwed. And the way it works, there's a little circuit board inside with a resistor and a little clicky clicky switch in the middle. Click on, click off. The battery connectors are little link throughs, uh, two little link throughs and then the two tabs at the end for the positive and negative that feed to the circuit board. The circuit board is loose and is held in place by the reflector and the reflector then has a pl clear plastic cover over it. And this is supported at the edge on little pins and when you press it down, because it's uh, the plastic's got uh, sections cut out of it, when you press it down it flexes and it pushes down the little button and latches it on and off. They're quite useful little lights and it's nice to see that Poundland are doing the ones with the circuit board because um, about five years ago um, I was working on a series called Mission 2110. You'll see footage of it on uh, YouTube if you search for Mission 2110. And it was uh, set in, it was a children's um, adventure type game and it was set in the future and it involved these huge robots, really genuinely big robots with actors in them. And it was lots of games that they had to defeat the roboids. And the robots were made by Millennium Effects and as part of the actual robot outfit and it worked really well I have to say I was a bit like oh god at first but they actually put some of these in to the robot outfits they cast the they molded the fiberglass so that there were recesses in it that they could actually put these lights into them and then simply just before each uh, produ production run before they were filming all they do was they could bayonet cap these out from the robots um, and then just before the show started, they just press the button and then the robots would have all these dots of light uh, on their chest, on the sides, on their backs. It was, it was actually a pretty good effect and it saved a lot of wiring inside the costumes. Laterally, um, for the ultimate death robot at the end, apart from a lot of custom electronics for the head, I had to change the colour of a lot of these. So we got a load from another supplier um, it was a typical Asian pound shop that had the ones with the circuit board in them. And I made up a wee jig. We got rid of the button. Oh, did I actually get rid of the button? No, I wouldn't have got rid of the button at, at that time. But um, we changed the colour of the LEDs. And a jig is really handy for that. Um, but I did a whole load of them with different colour LEDs for that particular robot. And then after the series had finished filming, they decided they wanted the robots in the Pacific Key Studios in Glasgow um, to just have them on display. So I ended up, uh, we drilled the robot suits at the back and we made a hole through the back of a, a complete new set of these and put connectors on them and uh, again changed the LEDs, put connectors on and made up a wiring loom that was a common 5 volt supply that went up through the whole robot and it went to each of these positions on the way up, almost like a string of fairy lights really to power these. And then it went to the headpiece when for that uh, we used the um, same circuit boards and a little microcontroller system that I used in the headsets for the robot's heads for the eye section to give it a, a scanning cyborg-y type look. Um, and uh, they ran for absolute ages but it just shows you that you know these things actually have other uses. Um, you, changing the LEDs to a different colour can make them quite useful as a little sort of feature light. Um, yeah, they're really quite useful altogether. I'm quite uh, fond of these things, they're, they're very good.